Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and another Super Sentai reaction. So this is episode 6. Not much has really happened, just pretty much. Essentially what I'm most excited about and what we'll get into immediately is that after episode 5, they finally killed the first 5 villains of the series. So essentially whenever we first started, each branch of the military was taken out and one surviving member those guys later became Power Rangers, and essentially, now we're gonna have a whole new set of villains, hopefully, because these are the guys that are gonna be alive, because they were gonna bring them in. So, I think we're just gonna get right into this one, because there's not really much that changed. It's mostly the same thing, same with Kamen Rider, where they just have the, mo the very similar things happening. So, without further ado, let's start the episode. All right, and that's the end of the, the sixth episode. So, for a little thing, it looks like out of all the rangers, Blue Ranger might have the highest amount of kills, also because he has a bow and arrow, and everybody else doesn't really look like death to me. Except, like, Pink Ranger's explosions or Blue Ranger's bow and arrow. Everybody else is just kind of knockouts if you're going off the real world stuff. So, Blue Ranger had two kills this episode, which brings his total up to eight. And then, they actually had a lot of deaths this episode. The Plans Broker, the three Eagle Defenders, the Science Station, the Weather Station, a bunch of other soldiers, and then the Countless Henchmen, and then also Steel Ring Mask. So we had a lot of deaths this episode, probably one of our biggest heavy deaths. So let's take a shot for Steel Ring and the Countless Henchmen. Go Agents didn't show up, but Gon did, and it looks like Eagle's pretty much all but destroyed, so I'm excited to see what will happen with that, and if that actually is a plot, or if they're still going to have other Eagle members, because I assume, besides Agent 3, who we've seen undercover, Everybody is dead except for the five Power Rangers gone and then Agent 7 to 9. So I'm excited to see how they do that and then what plot things they can come up with to make it more intriguing. Because right now it's just, you know, like Kamen Rider in the beginning. Just boop, 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 do the same thing over again. But I'm still having fun with it. It's definitely a fun little turn your mind off, have fun. Yeah, I think that's going to be it for this episode. I'm going to keep it rather short just because there's not much else. Just that Blue Ranger is up to eight kills, which... Puts him drastically in the lead with Pink Ranger and with five at second. And probably the most character deaths in one episode besides the first one by killing the Weather and Science Station. So yeah, I think that's going to be it. Thank you everyone for watching. If you want to support me, like and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content from me. And also leave a comment down below on what you think I should react to next. If you want to support me on Patreon, you can do so and you'll get early access to videos. There will also be polls so you can vote on what thing I should react to next. And also, if a video ever gets blocked or there's an active community strike against it, I'll take it down off of YouTube. And I'll put it on Patreon and I'll link it to my daily motion over there with the same channel name as the one I have currently. So time to stand. So just look it up and you can see all the videos over there. So right now, Squid Game is purposely on Daily Motion, and there's a 2 gig uh, maximum, so it's basically chopped up into a bunch of parts, but I made a playlist with it, and so you can find the links all to that in my Patreon. And yeah, that's going to be it. So thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.